So the title for for the album, Nova Red, kind of refers to a, a red dwarf. So a red dwarf is the most common kind of star. It's kind of the longest lived, um, but the light that it emits is also the weakest light. There are a lot greater stars, there are brighter stars. So what do we do when suddenly one of these bright stars is gone? There's a void, there's a darkness, there's just an absence where we're used to having that light always being cast. So <clears throat> in the death, in the wake of, of the death of such a star, um, which was, was very real for me in the beginning of last year, um, based on something that, that happened, um, you know, what do we do? We feel that darkness all the more and we strive to fill it. We strive to sort of put our light out there and hope that the light we cast is enough. But there's that fear. What if, what if it isn't? What if the light that, that we cast isn't bright enough? What if all we do is make the shadows darker? So um, that's kind of what Nova Red is about and that's uh, kind of where the title comes from. Um, and it sort of deals like with the uh, the idea of, of, you know, if you're a red dwarf, what if you choose to go Nova? What if you choose to, to burn out in one sudden bright explosion? You know, will that make a difference? And we sort of tie all of that in together into sort of our struggle as as humans and, and how we feel as, as we go through life. Neverlight, as, as we exist right now, is, consists of me and Josh, um, vocals and guitar. Um, so as we, as we began to think about recording this album, uh, it became necessary to consider bringing in other people to help us to reach this vision and to, to make this album all that we thought that it could be. Um, so at the beginning of this process, we sort of sat down and made a list, just sort of a, a dream list, I guess, of if you, if you could choose to play with anybody, who would it be? Um, and so out of that list um, came Dirk and Ray and Ruben. There's always um, there's always the risk that you take, and it doesn't matter if if you are are hiring people into your band or if you're bringing in guest musicians. Um, you know, there's always that risk that you're not going to find somebody who understands what your vision is and who who can sort of take your music and interpret it and and make it better. Um, and it was kind of rough because when, when you're dealing with people over the internet and via email, it's kind of hard to know if they're going to listen to your music and they're, they're going to get it and they're going to, they're going to contribute things in a way that, uh, helps your music and, and makes it better than, than it was. And we were very fortunate with everybody that we worked with on this, on this project. Um, you know, from, from Dirk and Ray and Ruben to the uh, Herefordshire chorus and, um, you know, mixing and mastering with Jacob Hansen that everybody that we worked with got it. And they all um, helped us to sort of make this better than, than I thought that it could be. So we're very fortunate to have, to have those guys involved. And Carlos Fidas at Artside. Yeah, the artwork on this album is amazing. It was amazing. Josh and I sort of shared the songwriting process. Um, this was kind of different. For the previous album, um, I had some songs that I wrote and I just kind of gave them to Josh and said, do what you do, um, which was kind of frustrating for him because sometimes he would write the music and he would bring me back the music and I would go, no, I don't like it. No, that's not right. <laughs> so he kind of wanted to kill me. Um, 
But this time, uh, you know, we've just had the experience of, of working together and, and writing together that much longer. So it was much smoother this time. Um, we have a bit of a rivalry, a kind of competition when it comes to writing songs. So sometimes he would come to me and he would say, oh, I wrote two songs this week. And then the next week I would have to write three, you know, because I have to win. So, uh, <laughs> so um, we sort of shared the songwriting process, and this time, you know, for the songs that that I wrote, a lot of times I have very clear ideas. No Red is one of those where I knew what I wanted and I knew how the song had to progress, and so I was able to give him a little more detail in terms of what I wanted from the guitars and how I wanted the song to build. Um, so. That I think that went a lot smoother. Yeah, but even with songs like Your Medusa or Forget Me, mm -hmm. where I had uh, much less to go on, we still sort of communicated earlier on in the process, so I didn't get so far into it and then have to start over again. <laughs> so, there might you. still be some residual frustration <laughs> from no, the previous no, album. <laughs> no, I doubt it. But then also, on the previous album, we never had anything like liar that you brought to me pretty much like all of the lyrics the melodies what goes where all of that was completely done and the songs i wrote on this album i wrote less than i did on the last album i think well okay we had maybe 20 songs to begin with yeah and more of mine got cut i think because they didn't really fit with the flow and the theme of the album so i ended up with four and a half songs i think on the album yeah so, but even those, <laughs> even those, the, they just went a lot more smoothly because we talked about kind of what keys were more comfortable for you to sing them in and mm -hmm. I got to buy more guitars so I could... A lot you know, more guitars. Yeah. We'll have to do a whole different set <laughs> on the guitars that were used to record Nova Red. Jesus. No, that's not important. Um... There is a song on the album called United Against that it was that was probably the most interesting song um, for us to write because we actually wrote it together. Um, Josh wrote half of it and then he said, you have to finish it. And so I finished it and um, we've never written a song like that before. No, we, we never write lyrics together. We always write them individually. Yeah. Either I write the lyrics and then I give him the idea for the music or he has the music and he gives it to me and I write the lyrics or he has everything. He has the music and the lyrics and tries to tell me how I'm supposed to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> that works well. <laughs> I just smile and nod. Yeah. Okay.